Hello everyone and welcome to my latest YouTube video. This one is totally different to what I've been doing in the past. Um, this is um, a little video of my F1 2021 career that I'm doing. Um, the driver is called Pete Mitchell with a nickname of Maverick. Down below let me know if you know that name for it's from a very famous film. But anyway, what in this video, I'm going to show you um, my one-shot quality, um, a little bit of the practice sessions that I do, and also the race. So once again, guys, do let me know below what you think of it, and I will respond to all comments. Just go for it. Flying map. This is Bahrain, this is. I was driving for Hass. I can't feel a bit. I don't know, it feels a bit chunk clunky. So I'm currently sitting fourteenth in practice. Just get used to track a little bit here in Bahrain. Look at that, no, I had no break on there at all. Need to run that sharp bin, that sharp bend there. Mo, hello, mate. Thank you for popping in. What's up, bro? So good to see you. So good to see you too, my man. Sorry, I'm just trying to um, learn to become a better Formula One driver <coughs> and try and keep on chat. This car doesn't feel very stable. But that could just be me. <coughs> Fast slap one thirty eight Pierre Gasly. So I'm not going to get a fast slap. One forty. I'm on the road now, but lurking from my phone. Thank you so much for the one hundred bits, mo. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy your stream on the go. <laughs> oh, look at that. I am currently, I know it's free practice, but I am currently sitting second on the grid in practice. Uh, whoa. I am 200 of a second behind um, the fastest lap that was set by Pierre Gasly. Now Esteban Ocon has just set last pass up a one thirteen. That's a whoa. That's a fast lap for, for um Ocon. We'd be good if I could hit one thirteen. That's some fast bends there. So Ocon set one three seven in total. One three two, one three three, one three five. So I just set uh, 139 still rank uh, third that's quite slow actually 130 
whatever the set. Now that's me trying to get used to the game and find the perfect breaking zones. So guys, this is obviously P3. Um, after this, we have got the qualifying. To see where we um, qualify for the race itself. Whoa! Oh, I took that way too hot, too fast. I've just set a personal best in section one as well. If you guys do ever see anything that's clip worthy, do feel free to do it, because I always forget. I would love to have a real fast lap. Right, slow down a little bit. No, Russ rolled it round. So I'm currently fourth. They got back in second. A 137. My tyre wear is holding out. And now I'm in traffic. I'm not even sure who that is. <clears throat> and the two fees come out on the track as well. Daniel Ricardo just set a fast lap, one three seven. Oh, Smash of L. Break. Oh, he locked up. Vessel just locked up there, by the looks of it. Approaching black markers. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what black markers mean. Cool, oh, Vettel's really pushing the car there. Charles Leclerc just set a 136. I can't catch up with Vettel whatsoever. That was a slow lap in my half. That was 138. I'm trying to get as many laps in as I can. My tyre wears at 13%. I was going to be a bit heavier on my left hand side because my left front is actually wearing out quicker than anything else. One thirty six is the fast lap. That was a little bit of a um, break there. <clears throat> I'm quite slow in section one. And section two. So I don't know if that's against my best lap. I think it is, so I'm um, 500 of a second slower than my fastest lap. One through seven. Where's that going to put me? So I'm fastest again. I uh, was fastest in section one then. I'd love to get a personal best as it fastest up overall, but I don't think it's going to happen. So 
the concentration of my face. Vettel, get out of my way. I've messed that up. Went too fast. I might pit. Uh, don't see how long's left of. Oh, that's a few remaining. Okay. I might be able to get a couple more laps out of it. I might switch up my fuel mix if I know how, if I've got a chance. Fuel mix, lean, standard. So I've got two types of um, fuel. Right, I've just changed my fuel mix to lean, so that should give me a little bit more power. So that would give me about three and a half laps, depending on how hard I push it. <clears throat> Whee, that's better. That's beautiful round that um, fast um, left right there. But still below my personal best. I'm actually, we have 200 seconds. I'm actually losing time. Right now and gaining time. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm faster or not. Vettel's gone into there. I need to find out my fuel level, what my fuel's at. Caution there, can't slow down. So I'm gonna so this lap obviously I messed up because I slowed down when I was trying to get onto the radio. But I'm going to see. So my next lap I'm gonna push as hard as I can. And then after that, I'll box. <clears throat> right, come on, Mitchell. Come on, Maverick. I still got an annoying cough. Yeah, I know. Way off pace. Right. Okay, here we go. I'm going to push you right down the rankings. Perez just set 135. Whoa! Who's that? Perez. Let's try to race me.
Come on. Is the pair still behind me? Yeah, right up my ass. Right, I gotta box this lap. No, my car's not fast enough to, and my um, my tire wear is getting quite high as well. Here's the pit stop. <clears throat> Go into the pits. Right. Where did my teammate finish? Mick Schumacher finished 20th. The fast lap of 138. And it's three seconds behind the leader. I was, what, about one... One second behind the leader? That's not bad going, actually. Happy with that. Very happy. Right, let's head to the quali now. And then we're off into the proper race. Uh, 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 uh. Rear downforce, cool. Obviously, all this sort of stuff it upgrades as you go through. Driver acclaim. So obviously you level up how you do well in the um, teams things. Right, let's head over to Quali. One shot Quali. Wish me luck, guys. Good thing I got damage off though because I smashed my car a couple times. <coughs> do, do, do. The one thing I love about the bar rain race is that it's night time. <laughs> right then, recommended Q and aggressive tire compound. Track photo one, air 25, tracks that's clear. Right, go for it. Let's do it. One shot quality. So I'm currently sitting 15th. Oh, it is me driving now, right. You didn't even give me an indication that I was driving then. Right, let's see where I finish. I'd love to finish in the, like, on the second grid, second part of the grid. That'd be awesome. So, this is a one-shot quality, so I've got one lap to try and put the best time in I can. It's always that bend. Right, here we go. Whoa. I'm not the best driver in the world, but I'm getting there. So I'm currently fifth.
We have to track again. Sixth. Seventh. Top ten. <clears throat> it's surprising how much pressure you actually put yourself under on this. Max Verstappen. Right, shall we see again where... I can't. Where did Mick finish? 90... Oh, pardon me. I'm happy with uh, where I am in the grid. <clears throat> what a lot of media attention how you deal with press can have an impact on several aspects of your career. Interviews can occur after any session of a race weekend according to what happened and how you performed. How you answer your questions can affect the moral of your R&D development, your teammate motivation and your acclaim. Consider your answers carefully. Refusing to answer can frustrate press leading to them asking you tougher questions in the future. In my team, your answers can even influence the direction your team takes when you hit the track. Some answers in your pre-season interview would advance your R&D in a specific area, so choose wisely. Oh my god, you've got an interview. The media coach should perfectly purchase through the contract screen at the Team HQ. This perk unlocks additional answers, which may get you out of difficult questions or give a bigger boost to your claim or the team. There are three levels of this perk to unlock. Alright then. Thanks! Um... And we have a great strategy it should get uh, there's that's the plan keep on me tomorrow and you'll see something special now great strategy should get us plenty of points the car feels fantastic on this track we'll be able to carry this through to the race there we go oh my god my trust has really improved through the season it's fantastic now the area department has been working flat out and really impressed these guys our teams massively improved durability this season We've put a lot into our power unit, and I think you agree it's paid off. The aero department. To the lap, it's a short session, so five laps, and I want to see what I can do. Give me all the support that I need, guys, because I want to make sure that I do well in this. Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities. It could be a strategic race this one, with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tyres. Here's 10. Watch out for drivers um, managing their so number 10, turn 10 is one of the hardest ones. So here we are in 2021 at the start of another Formula One World Championship. Bar range made up of 51 natural here. islands. Mercedes Interesting. to retain their hold on the title. <clears throat> Red Bull seeking to secure their position as the main contender for that title. Mick Schumacher. Ferrari, no doubt, hoping for a fresh start following their difficulties last year. And elsewhere on the grid, the prospect of some really exciting battles, including between the newly rebranded Aston Martin and Alpine teams. George Russell. Lots to discuss then with Anthony <coughs> Davidson, who's joined me in the commentary box for today's event. It's good to be back, Crofty. Let's hope for some good racing today. We can't know at this point how competitive these teams are relative to each other, but hopefully nobody is able to run and hide. Oh, I love this build-up. To see these drivers pushing to the limit all the way to the chequered flag. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Lando Norris, Maverick, <laughs> Maverick, Sainz, Ricardo, Gasly, and Fernando Alonso, Vettel, Ocon, Yuki Tsunoda, and Stroll. 
Leclerc, Raikkonen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and George Russell, Mick Schumacher, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Here we go, guys. Deep breath. Car set up. Uh, maximum downforce. Most of the circuits where you can make a lot of time corners. We reduce corners so to set up and make your car hand hard on control but allow you to reach higher top speeds. The balance setup provides you with all good all round performance with your balance between corners building and top speed. Um I might have been balanced. That's right in it? Yeah, balanced. Okay, let's go. And it's five red light. And we're off. Uh, that would have been cool. That would have been a lot of damage on my car if I had damage on. I'll be surprised if I can get in the top three. But you never know. Just to try and get through this bit. Ah, I missed the blade turn again. I very nearly crashed them. Oh, you. I spun out a little bit then. So now, sick. Right, overtook Ricardo. I'm gonna spin out again then. I felt my back go. So I'm fifth at the minute. Really Ricardo? He is right up my exhaust. Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Yes, Jeff. But I need a faster um There's four laps of fuel remaining. Two, three, four, five. Right, I've got enough. Nana Norris. Oh my god, everyone's gonna pick me. So it's actually the first time I actually raced against AI. I tried overtaking then. Obviously DRS not up yet. DRS, DRS enabled. enabled. I don't know where Mick is. <coughs> OK, 
take it around there. The drivers were fighting here. Oh, shit. Start brace on them, didn't I? So I think I've just cocked up. Mm. Come on. I'm fast in um, my section, sectors. Person. Strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. They're just over Whoa! For some reason I just flag. lost. Huh? Blue flag, okay. Eight. Where did I start? Was it seventh? So I have lost the position actually. I'm guessing Mick is at the back still. Oh Christ. I just lost two places. This has gone downhill very quickly. Right, go. Am I through? Not quite. Ah. So, our teammate by 3.3 seconds. Yeah. Oh shit. That's actually quite hard racing against um other people. AI. So I've literally messed this up. So I finished seventh. I started seventh and I'm finishing it looks like eleventh. But it's only the first race of the season, so all I could do is do better. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. That'd be hell. This, do I actually do feel the pressure of this? Go on. I'm faster in section two. Lewis Hampton one. I finished eleventh. Nope. I've done horrendous. That's it for another spectacular Grand Prix here in Bahrain. I've got a point though. A real champion's drive to take the win. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? 
But I honestly feel it's down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. I messed up majorly on a couple of those bends. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. So Lewis Hamilton Congratulations then to Mercedes. won it. Your race winners today. Max Verstappen and I think that's Ricardo. I do better than that. And no, it's not Ricardo. I was totally wrong because Ricardo's Australian. After an incredible performance, Lewis Hamilton so, secures the top spot in the drivers' championship. Six, seven, eight, so nine, Anthony ten. Davidson, I lost five. Would you rank as your five positions. Of the day? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision has to be commended. So I didn't get one. I didn't even get one point. Constructors' standings. Red Bull take over as championship leaders. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula <coughs> One. Be sure to join us for the next one. Right, did I beat Mick? Yes, I did. I